Every country in the world, every major population centre in the world is grappling with the same problems. Everyone knows that the growing population needs to be fed. Uh, there's been a big shift in thinking and people are coming back to the core problem. How do we produce more food of better quality using less resources? So this, the Centre for Carbon, Water and Food, the timing is impeccable. It has to be now. Um, if we leave it too much longer, uh, the problem just grows exponentially and it becomes ever, ever harder. Doing it now is the right time. So this centre is a big initiative from the University of Sydney. The University of Sydney has long had uh, a great tradition of supporting agricultural industries, but this is where we can bring together, really for the first time, all of our disciplines under one roof. We can bring together hydrology, soil science, plant science, atmospheric science. That's really the key. It's the interdisciplinarity of this centre that makes a difference. We've got some fantastic young scientists uh, that this centre is really going to fit to a T. It's going to support their work. It's going to really make their work much more effective. There'll be people working on soils, particularly soil structure and how soils can hold more water. There'll be people working on nitrogen fixation, uh, which is a way of improving the quality of food and reducing our use of fertilisers. There'll be people working on water use efficiency in plants, people who understand what it is that makes a plant more or less water use efficient and then looking to identify the attributes that we can put into breeding programs. And so they're just a few of the things that this centre will be doing in research. Uh, put them together and it is better quality food, more of it, less impact on the globe. So, so let's look ahead 10 years and just imagine what this centre will have done. So I think in 10 years time we're sure that we will have had a lot more students come through learning about how to have low impact agriculture while still being very productive. We will have trained a lot more PhD students who will become the next generations of researchers. And we will have really moved a long way towards solving some of these big problems in food production. It is not an easy task. None of this is fast, but in 10 years we can say with some certainty that this place will have made an impact. And it'll be something of which the federal government and the university and industry can be really proud because this is quite a unique facility in Australia and even around the world. There are not many places like this. We're really pleased here at the University of Sydney to see the sorts of investments that are being made and to be a part of what is something that's truly global. Yeah.